Hello and welcome to React Till Win. Today I'm going to show you how to create this beautiful modern border beam with Tilwin CSS. So let's start. I have already set up a React project with Vite and a configured Tilwin CSS. If you don't know, I have already a video about it. And here I have a div, this div flex container. I make sure that everything should be in the center of the screen. Add another div and here and some class names. Position will be relative. Border, border gray. 300 and around it will be to excel and size will be 60 when the width and height will be the same we use size if i save see inside this div i want to add another div class will be flex item will be center justify will be center and height for now will be full and here i want to add an h1 react l1 if i save so in here I want that a conic gradient background. As you know guys, Tailwind does not support conic background. So for that I'm going to use vanilla CSS. Go to index.css uh, below your Tailwind directives. Add a class wrapper. Add this B4 pseudo element and add this background conic gradient. So I will provide this the source code for you. Save this. Now in here I want to add some class names add b4 will be absolute make sure to add these classes to inside this div the div that has the relative i want to add our wrapper class this wrapper class is this class so then b4 width will be full b4 height will be full then b4 content nothing now if i save it takes our gradient so now i want to add animation to this gradient so for that i'm going to tailwind.config.js inside dim extend object add a keyframe keyframe object add this keyframe guys border span it has one keyframe and it will rotate 360 degree and below this keyframe i want to add animation object and add animation the name of animation will be border spin and the keyframe for that is border spin this uh, keyframe and the duration uh, will be nine seconds the type of animation will be linear and infinite now i want to save in here now if i add animation border spin this will root it all this div now if i save see I don't want that. I want this rotation uh, only for this gradient. Uh, for that, I'm going to add before sudo to this animation border spin. Now, if, if I save, see guys, this will rotate only our gradient. As you see, guys, this gradient does not uh, cover all of our this border. I want to make this gradient a little bigger for that. And in here, I want to make the height 150% in here, guys. And in the width, also 150%. If I save, see, guys, now it should be in the center. For that, in here, I want to add left to negative 25%. If I save, oh, I forgot to add this to before element if i save it's in the middle uh, from the top also i want to before top negative 25 percent it's in the middle so now go to the second div and add this class and here now i want to change the height the height will be calc 100 percent negative 4 pixel and the weight also calc 100 percent negative 4 sorry for pixel i want to make this absolute at bg blue for now what this class is what this mean guys it means our this div will be a four pixel smaller than the parent div and the height and width if you see guys in here this div is four pixel smaller than its parent so now i want to make this uh, blue div uh, in the center the left to excel top to excel sorry two pixel 
see guys this blue div will be in the center of this uh, the div that has uh, the border now in here the div that has the relative class over flow hidden this is our border beam and i want to make change this background to white as you see guys at the corner of this div does not take the border for that i'm using brown div to excel in the second div this div so if i save now it takes if you want to make this smaller change this height two pixel and this width two pixel and this top will be one pixel and the from the left will be also one pixel see you guys this is our border beam you can customize uh, if you want to make the 40 degree see it will smaller or 10 degree or 90 degree or if you want to change uh, the animation duration like uh, to two second it will be very fast or we want to make a nine second this is our border beam thank you guys for watching if you have any question suggestion let me know in the comment down below don't forget to subscribe the channel. See you in the next video.